All right, welcome back. Now that you've finished the lifestyle review and you're in that frame of mind, the next step is we're gonna delve a little bit deeper into what makes you tick. Yeah, we love this part. So this is uh, your values and visions section. I'm gonna read to you from the front page. Uh, for those of you that have printed it off, you can read along with me. Live life by your compass, not your clock. It is in our core values and personal vision statement that we access our life's compass. This compass is the most important part of goal achievement. Living your dream lifestyle and living a truly successful life begins by knowing exactly who you are and what makes you tick. Being rooted in your values and attached to your personal vision will allow you to adjust your sail each day. Learning from all of life's challenges by making frequent course corrections as needed. When you complete this section, you should feel a sense of solid footing, a sturdy foundation, and a sense of clarity of where you're going and how you're going to make it happen. By now, you will hopefully have printed this out. This is the workbook that we'll be working with today. You open it up, you can see this is what she just read. And now we're gonna get right into this first exercise. Now this right here is our core values. What you're gonna do is we're gonna go through this list one at a time, read these words to yourself out loud, but read them one at a time. And each word that resonates with you as you read it, just underline it. And just go through one word at a time. Accountability, accuracy, achievement, adventurousness just go through all of them and if you have a word that is resonating with you that you don't see on the list just write it down at the bottom there's a couple of extra blank spaces there this is the first pass the first pass is just a really quick sort these are the words that resonate with you most that's the first pass but then we're going to go through the same thing one at a time Read the words to yourself, the ones that have underlined. Skip the words that didn't resonate with you this time. This time, go through and analyze them a little bit more and circle the ones. What we want to do is we want to narrow it down to the top 10 or so. And then we're going to do one more pass and we need to compare them against each other. We want to narrow from this list and anything else that you can think of down into the top three to five core values that really are resonating with you right now at this point in your life. Yeah, I love this part because uh, when you get done and you have those three to five, it literally is you're, you're starting to make the foundation of what we're about to move forward. My best advice to you is to not, to, to not overthink this. So literally, gut, heart, soul chills, that is when you underline and circle. Do not overthink. Those of you that are overthinkers, I want you to literally do what David said, just pass through. Da -da 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 -da. Like that's, you're going to overthink, do that. How fast can I get through this? <laughs> yeah, you know, me as a, a an overthinker or an analyzer, I have broken this down each of the steps, each of the, the things in the process, I've broken it down into really fine detail. So the next step is after you've kind of went through this list, you've narrowed it down, the next page looks like this. And you're gonna bring those top uh, three to five core values and rank them in order from uh, you know the top one all the way down you know three to five just kind of rank them what what are the uh, how do they rank in your priority list or how you feel about them right now and then the very top one the one that is is the the, the top priority for you the, the the highest resonating core value right now Put that right in the middle of the star. That's the exercise. Stop the video right now and just take some time to go through that. Go through all three passes and just really analyze the top three to five core values and rank them in order and put the top one in the star. Now, here's what I want you to do. Once you get to that point, 
snap a picture of that page with your top three to five core values and the highest one in the star. Snap a picture of that page and send it to us. Send it to us either in, in a text or a Facebook message, or you might even be able to comment right here below on this video in this platform here. All right, welcome back. We're so excited and we're excited to see those words that you have chosen, your core values for this next 90 days. We're getting more into the meat of your mission statement and this is how we dive into it. We wanna really take some time and answer the following questions. These are designed to help you reflect on what matters most to you so that you can hone in on the list of your core values. Though the questions are straightforward, spend some time, some dedicated time to fully explore your answers. And this is really important. So do it when you're fresh. Maybe it's right before you go to bed. Maybe it's right when you get up. Maybe it's at your break time at work, be alone, have some, some time where you can, there's, there's not very many, there's only five, but they literally are um, very important to really think about and not to just like fly off the cuff and answer them. So the first one is describe moments where you truly come alive. What's meaningful about these alive moments? I'll share with you some that we've heard from our ultimate achievers in the past. Some are when I, when I see my children play sports, uh, when I am on the beach on a long walk with my husband holding his hand, when I've accomplished a goal, some are in the midst of challenge, they feel alive. So just think about that. Those are some uh, examples of what that means. And then on your very best day, how do you show up? What version of you do you present? So this obviously like, it could come to mind like I'm showered, my hair is done, my makeup's on or whatever, you know? But really like all those are important, but what's most important is, are you high energy? Are you well rested? Are you well nourished? On your best day, how do you show up? Do you show up happy? Do you show up ready to tackle the day? So think about that. What is the best, best version of yourself? Who are the two people respect and admire most? Describe what you admire about them. So those are people that, you know, that there's something about them that you uh, want to either be like them or they've achieved things that you wanted to achieve in your life. Or maybe it's uh, your mom or someone that has attributes that you admire. It's very important for you to say why. Why do those people fit into the top two of who you respect and admire most? What types of situations and moments do you actively dislike? Super important. I was very honest at a very young age with myself that I disliked alarm clocks. So pretty much every decision that I made, I thought to myself, is this a permanent alarm clock that I'll have to have in my life? And if that was the answer was yes, that was a definite no for me. <laughs> so very important um, and be honest and true. There's no wrong answer. It's what do you dislike? Um, if at the end of your life, you had lived the way you most wanted, how would, how would others describe you? What would be inscribed on your tombstone? So this one is where you get really deep. You think like, hey, I'm done. The time on this plane is over for me. How do, how do I want, how would I love for people to speak about me or to celebrate my life? Well, what are the things that you would want them to say about you? Hopefully those explanations leave you not pondering what the questions are all about. And I went into enough detail for you to understand how to answer them do take the time to do this because the, the more you can answer this more um, thoroughly, the easier your vision statement is going to be. Over to you, David. So now again, stop the video and take some time to do this part and we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back. So at this point, we recommend you talking through your answers and your reflections from the previous section with somebody that will help you dig into the patterns in your responses. This should be someone who's invested in helping you reach clarity, but isn't over anchored in one particular outcome. Maybe your accountability group, your spouse, or your mentor. Be sure to capture any takeaways in, like, in your notes. If you're not journaling by this point, I strongly admonish you to start journaling now. So as you prepare to write 
your first draft of your personal vision statement. Use this uh, C3PO rule to help you along the way. If you're a Star Wars fan, it should be easy to remember. This C3PO rule, uh, your vision statement should be clear. It should be specific, articulate, strive to make it easily understood, directive, action-oriented, create a clean map for yourself. The second C is concise. While there's no precise limit, your vision statement should be written in as few words as you think are needed. If you get to a paragraph or two, you should probably think about maybe making it more concise. For example, here's mine. Mine is, I live every day purposely to both inspire and empower others to step into their passion and live even more healthy, wealthy, and wise. And I've crafted that over a series of these 90-day runs and this, doing this process over and over again. And it's been quite an evolution. So let's go to the third C. The third C stands for compelling. Now, this is a big one. Does your vision statement inspire or move you? It must be motivational and far-reaching enough to pull you through the difficult and uncertain times. Strive to capture that highest voice within you, that part of you that can see the gift and the opportunity that surrounds you. Now the P stands for present tense. This is a subtle one, but it's important. Writing your vision statement in the present tense gives it power and immediately holds you to the standard to set yourself. Minimize the I will or the one days language. Your vision statement lives in the now, right in that way. I am, I do. And then for the O, the O represents others. Your vision statement always has implications beyond yourself. When you change your behavior, you automatically start affecting and leading others differently. Be cognizant of that fact and make thoughtful considerations on how you can better affect others as part of your vision. Including others is a powerful move and in the long run, it can be very rewarding. I just think that the C-3PO is, is just the easiest way to at least start your mission statement. For those of you that have never done a mission statement, you're gonna live in some some of your own, like getting in your way statements, like, oh, I'm frozen. Oh, I, you know, I'm not sure what to do. You know, my advice to you is just do, do something. Just write down a sentence or two, what comes to mind. There is no wrong. And that's what I think when people get frozen, they feel like they're gonna do it wrong. There is no wrong. This is your mission statement. <laughs> so just start it and begin it and then we'll help you refine it. And also every time that you go through this process, it will be refined a little bit more. It'll go through a kind of an evolutionary process. And so don't feel like it has to be perfect right now. This is kind of a first pass. And so just take a stab at it. Just write out everything that you that you went through. Think about the core values that you developed. Think about the reflection questions. And then just write out, what does your perfect life look like? What do you stand for? What's your point? And write that out in a paragraph or a few sentences. And I would love, when you get it done, I would love for you to share it with us again you can write it out, send it to us in a Facebook message, or you know what, better yet, take your vision statement and go to Canva and make a cool meme with your vision statement in it. And then post it and tag us in your post and use the hashtag Ultimate Achievers. I'm excited to see it. Stop the video right now, take your passes at it. I can't wait to see those memes start popping up this week. Love it. So excited to see him.